this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making a really cute mini card using May May Made It stamps. As many of you may or may not know, I'm a design team member for May May Made It, so I'm really honored um, to be able to be part of that team. For this particular stamp, or this design, I was hoping to just use one stamp, but the thing I really like about May May stamps is that you can use them to create one card. You can use multiple stamp sets to create one card. So the basis for this particular creation starts with this particular stamp set. And this stamp set is called Oh Snap. It's so adorable. I'm going to be using this little uh, like Polaroid picture frame and I'm going to make something inside of the frame and that's going to be able to put together our card. And I'm going to be using some of the stamps from these other cards, like this flower is going to be cute. Um, taking the bird from this particular stamp set, this one is called Birdie Says, another favorite of mine. This one is called Sunflower Wishes. So there's many more I could have used, but I'm going to just do these three stamp sets. I'll list all of the supplies below. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with our Polaroid picture frame. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress ink and I'm just going to ink this up. Okay, I'm going to stamp it out on here because I'm going to end up cutting this out. And let's do, I might as well go ahead and do more than one of this since I'll be making several. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Now when you're thinking about the type of image that you want to use inside of this, there's so many different images you can use. I'm going to be using a bird and some raindrops for this first one. And if you notice, I'm not cutting right on the line. I'm cutting just on the outside of the line there. Okay, so I'm going to just take a couple of pieces of my cardstock um, where I can just stamp out my birdie because I'm going to uh, fussy cut it and I do want it on a separate piece of paper. Now if you want, you can just go ahead and directly stamp it right on the picture frame, but because I want this to kind of stand up, I'm going to mount it. Uh, my image, I want it to be separate. And so this is a really adorable stamp. It's the Birdie Says stamp set. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color in my Birdie. And I thought, I think yellow would be really nice. So I'm just going to shade it lightly. And you don't have to use Copic markers, um, you just use what you have. And 
I want my birdie to be a little bit more vibrant. So I'm just going to take a darker yellow and just kind of shade in the edges. And just have fun with it, as always. Do some orange on there too. And I'm going to go ahead and use my white gel pen and just make some little polka dots. Always love you doing my little dots on here. It just adds a little bit more. And maybe maybe his eye. Give him a little bit of an eye there. Yep. These gel pens are a really good tool to have also. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut my little birdie out here. I'm just going to go around the outside of the legs since they're so thin. And I'm just leaving a little white outline. Okay. So our birdie is going to go inside of the frame like this. So it's almost like building a story, but I'm going to mount it. But before I do that, I've got something new added to my stamping tools and this is the Momento inks. Um, the particular one that I'm going to be using is Summer Sky but this is a great way especially if you're a new stamper to add lots of inks um, into your collection and you, that way you have a variety of colors and so these are dewdrop inks and they're fade resistant dye inks so I will put the link um, to where you can purchase these. These are in Maymay's store, so I'll put the link below. So I love this blue. And what we're trying to do with these frames, with these picture frames, is I'm trying to tell a story. And so the birdie and these dew drops, and then there's the, like the little raindrops on here. So I'm gonna take this And I've got my little raindrop on here from the stamp set. The birdie says stamp set. And I'm going to just kind of randomly put some raindrops on here. And I've got my dog in here again, shuffling around. one in there. Okay, so I've got my little random raindrops in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, stamp a little message right here. This is so convenient because you can just stamp something right here. Let's see what I have. I'm going to use this stamp uh, the sentiment picture perfect. I think that will be just perfect. Because this actually is picture perfect.
And I like the way this space is here so that I can just stamp a message right in there to make my mini card. And I think I'm going to put my birdie somewhere around there, possibly. Yep. And I want it to be mounted on there because I want it to be kind of dimensional. I have more than one dimension on it. Here's another good thing to have in your collection. When you're mounting strips, mounting squares, they're circular ones. Okay. And I want my birdie to come just a little bit off of the edge there. Kind of standing. It's kind of standing right there. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put one more little raindrop in there. Right there. Because he's going to be standing in the rain. I really like that. Okay, so we've got a bird mounted on there, and I'm going to make our raindrop stand out a little bit with this darker blue. I'm just going right around the bottom of my raindrop. I think the thing I really like about cards is putting the stamps together to make one card, but also just the whole coloring process and picking out colors and experimenting with colors. Okay, so now that that's on there, I want to have a little border going around here. So you can basically just about do anything. You can doodle a border around um, the edge there. So I'm going to just put, take some orange since I have orange in here, if you want it to match. Okay, and look how cute that looks, just putting a border around there. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow. Let's go ahead and use this part here. And let's see, I'm just going to kind of just add a, a little bit in there. I love doing borders of things. I don't know what it is, it's just, I love decorating borders. I think it just enhances everything and makes it look better. So I'm just adding in a little bit of the yellow here. Look how cute that looks. I just took the colors that I put in the birdie and I just put it around the border. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a card base and this is a mini card. I'm going to make sure I put all the measurements uh, in the description box below for you. And so I'm going to take, I thought this was a really cute uh, card stock that I had. And all I did was just folded it. And so I wanted it to have just a little bit of a border for my Polaroid frame. And so what I'm going to do is... This is also going to be mounted on here. So let me just go ahead and cut this away a little bit here. I'm just cutting this in half, so. I've been doing cards for about I think this is like my second year now, and I absolutely love it.
Look how adorable that is. And I just left his little tail off of the back there just because I thought that was cute. So he's not like right in the picture. He's kind of out of the picture a little bit too. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take this particular stamp. Oh, there's my doggy. I'm going to take this particular stamp right here. It's called A Great Day. And I'm going to just stamp it right inside there. And so look how cute that is. It's absolutely adorable. Um, it says picture perfect on the outside. And on the inside, it says A Great Day. So this is a great way to slip a note to someone. Um, especially if um, maybe you have a co-worker that's going through something or you want to put something in your kid's lunchbox or maybe slip the husband a note or whatever. Um, it's really a cute little sentiment. And so even though it's raining, as you can see on the card, you can still have a great day. Okay, so I want to do one more thing with this particular one. I'm going to take my ice stickles and I'm just going to go right along here just to kind of make it look like it's wet. I think I can get that effect by just kind of um, taking these in, and because it's shimmery, I can kind of just have my stickles just along the bottom there. I'm just gently kind of dragging it along and then that makes it look like it's wet on the ground. Maybe have some on top of Birdie's head. So it kind of gives a, an effect of being wet. Just to enhance it a little bit. I wonder if you can see that. Yep, and so that's all done. And I'm going to show you a few other cards that I did. Okay, so our mini cards are all done. And I think they came out so adorable. And I had so much fun with these. And then I went in with a little bit more color on this one with the blue. Um, I did put some little sticky dots on there that matched. And so that just adds a little bit of bling to it, a little bit of shine. And then I used the flower stamp as well. And that comes from that's from the stamp set Sunflower Wishes. So you feel free to mix up uh, some of the, the stamp sets. That's a really nice thing about May May stamps. And here's the picture perfect one with the little birdies on it. And I added some bling to those. So this is just a great way to just make some really small cards, especially if you're not as comfortable making the larger cards. This is a great way to start out, start small and then build on it. But I just really like these. And so I'm going to be slipping some notes to a couple of my family members. And so I hope this inspired you. I will put um, all of the stamp sets, the links and everything below, as well as all the supplies that were used um, in this video. So thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Bye.